Hey everybody, what's going on? I am Greg Sussman, joined today by Megan Nunez of FanDuel, who's here to give us her winning Week 5 picks. What's going on, Megan? Not a whole lot. Just hoping to get some winners this week and every week, of course. Absolutely, and that is not going to change here this week in Week 5. So let's begin in Cleveland, where the Brownies are coming off a big win against the Dallas Cowboys, and they are a point-and-a-half underdog at home to the Indianapolis Colts. No respect for the Browns coming off a win against Dallas. No, and look, if you're a Browns fan, you have to be excited about the season. Sure, you got smoked by the Ravens, but it's been pretty smooth sailing since then, especially after this Dallas game. I mean, it wasn't just spectacular plays from Odell Beckham Jr. They dominated the line of scrimmage and got like 200 rushing yards in that game. Uh, unfortunately, a big part of their run attack did go down with Nick Chubb, but they just proved that they had a stable of backs ready to come in and get the job done. This week, as you said, they're playing the three and one Colts, who are the Browns are also three and one. Um, but as dirty as it feels, uh, I trust the Browns more than I trust the Colts. Uh, Philip Rivers, he's old man Rivers. You don't know what he what he's going to do for you, what you can expect. Uh, he has plays that he makes that sometimes just leave me scratching my head. And ultimately, I think those are going to end up costing him games. I like the Browns as home dogs in this spot. I think Stefanski keeps this offense rolling. I mean, last week, it was so exciting. You had Jarvis Landry throwing a touchdown to Odell Beckham. I mean, it was electric. Give me the Browns as home dogs here. It's so rare to say you're going to trust the team like the Browns over anybody. But over Phillip Rivers, who does tend to let you down in a big spot, well, it kind of makes sense. Two 3-1 teams. You know, people realize that the Browns 3-1 here going into Week 5, led by Baker Mayfield and Odell Beckham, even though there is no Nick Chubb in the lineup. Kareem Hunt and Dearness Johnson can certainly carry the load, and they will this week, or at least enough to cover the spread. Browns plus 1.5 at home over at the FanDuel Sportsbook. We mentioned that the Browns took down the Cowboys and – the fact is, Dak Prescott throws for 450 yards every single game because the Cowboys' defense is just laying up so many points. But right now, the Giants aren't scoring any points, which means you're not going to have to come back from that much down this week. The Cowboys are 9.5-point favorites against the New York Giants here on Sunday. Over at the FanDuel Sportsbook, maybe this one won't be a nail-biter for Cowboys fans. So I just talked about how the Browns kind of uh, put it to the Cowboys last week, but there's no denying that. Uh, they got gashed for over 200 yards, but the Giants don't have near the run attack that the Browns did because they lost Saquon Barkley. Uh, there's no denying that this Cowboys team has talent. They just have to figure out how to use it in a cohesive manner. Um, I really... I think this is going to be a get-right spot for the Cowboys. I the, the, the Giants' anemic offense, just awful. The Cowboys are America's team. They need a get-right spot. They need to feel like bullies. They, I think that they just beat up on this Giants team. I think this is the opportunity for the get-right spot. I like this game here, and I'm taking the Cowboys, America's team, with all the points. Giants have played teams tough, but they haven't seen an offense quite like the Dallas Cowboys yet at nine and a half points. They may smoke them. Maybe this get right game, as you're alluding to. Cowboys are heavy favorites and worth laying the juice, according to Megan. One last game to get to, and that's Sunday night football. We're letting Russ cook with the Seattle Seahawks, who are seven point favorites against the Minnesota Vikings, a Vikings team that does not look great thus far this season, while the Seahawks, on the other hand, they're just blowing teams out of the water, at least this offense is anyway. Seattle, minus seven at home. That's where you're going with your final pick of the week. I am, and I'm just going to keep riding this train. I know it's a lot of points. Last week, I laid off the game because I thought it's probably a weird spot for Mr. Unlimited going from Seattle down to Miami. That humidity, that heat, a one o'clock game. And he covered the spread, and, and he won. I don't know why I decided to pick Derek Carr instead of my dude, Mr. Unlimited. But I'm not doing that this week. I'm going to ride back with my boy, Russell Wilson. And I know that the Vikings have looked relatively good over the last couple of weeks. Jefferson's kind of taken some heat off Thielen. But let's be honest, they haven't looked like a good football team, especially defensively. And that sounds weird because, obviously, Mike Zimmer. 
Um, so yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and take my boy, Mr. Unlimited, in prime time at the 12th man, even though there's not a 12th man. Still think there's a lot of good stuff happening in Seattle under Pete Carroll and my boy, Mr. Russell Wilson. Let him cook. I'm going with the Seahawks minus the seven. I think it's going to be a great time. Russell Wilson at home is in a good spot against the Minnesota Vikings. And, yeah, I totally agree with you. In Miami, it, it was weird. For a lot of that game, the Dolphins were covering. It didn't end up that way. But the Seahawks are rolling right now. And the Vikings, while Justin Jefferson, as you mentioned, has stepped up. And Dalvin Cooks played well uh, also. I don't see how they keep up with Seattle's cooking offense. Seattle. And the seven-point home favorite is Megan's final pick of the week. There you have it. Those are the winners for week five. Megan Nunez, we appreciate the time. Good luck this weekend. Thank you. Good luck to y'all as well. Tomorrow on the show, Tom Vecchio will join me as we'll go over his top value plays here for week five. For Megan Nunez, I'm Greg Sussman. Thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you tomorrow for another edition of the FanDuel Hurry Up.